All right, today we're going to talk about pedal turns, um, updated force trim usage techniques with the new patch, and uh, kind of the difference between when a hold mode is enabled and a hold mode is active. All right, so first off, we're going to just pick the aircraft up to hover. A little more left pedal, a little bit more left cyclic here, just coming on up, coming on up. Aircraft is light. All right, cool trim. And we'll maintain that position. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is first off, uh, let me get this thing stable. There we go. And let me, first off, I'm going to talk about my pedals. Uh, so I've got a set of Satec Pro pedals. Um, they are obviously under my desk at my feet. And um, the way I have my setup uh, configured is my legs are at a comfortable extension. Um, and I have the ability to just with my toes basically, you know, put in that forward uh, or that that the right amount of pedal, right? So I'm constantly keeping my heels planted and I'm just kind of shifting my feet forward and backwards, right? And that's just kind of, and I just use my toes to kind of manage my pedals, all right? So I've adjusted my dead zone from six down to three, set my saturation Y to back to 100 from, I think it was 80 or 90 the last time, I can't remember. My curve is down to five from 10. Um, and that's kind of what I'm rolling with now. I find that that works pretty good for me uh, with regards to getting the breakout values going for the uh, um, the uh, heading hold, disabling the heading hold. All right, so a couple different ways that you can uh, pedal turn. You can do it force trim interrupted. I don't recommend that because now you lose the benefits of the SAS and a nice stable platform. Um, the other way that you can do it is you can just apply pedal against the, or just apply pedal in the direction until you exceed the breakout values and start a nice turn. Uh, throughout all of these, you have to maintain your position with the cyclic. Even if you have a hold mode on, um, like position hold or attitude hold, um, you know, we'd be in the position hold sub mode right now. You still have to help maintain the position of the aircraft with the cyclic, all right? So the tail is clear, nose is clear, so I'm just going to start my turn here. A little bit of left pedal. A little bit of left pedal, maybe. There we go. All right, maintaining my position, maintaining my position. A little pressure, counter pressure on the pedals to maintain a nice, constant rate of turn. All right, right there, I'm going to put in opposite pedal to stop the turn trim to update the heading reference and then go continue maintaining my position, okay? All right, there's still a little bit of wobble uh, with the sass on the heading, um, so just, you know, kind of be aware of that. A little bit of, see, sass is, uh, for the heading is still a little overactive, but, you know, there we go. All right, now the tail is clear to the left, nose will be turning to the right, maintaining position with the cyclic pedal in the direction of my turn to start the turn. Pressure counter pressure on the pedals to maintain that constant rate of turn. Still maintaining that position with the cyclic. A little bit more pedal. Coming on around, coming on around, coming on around. Once I get to my desired direction, opposite pedal to stop the turn, trim, update the heading reference, and maintain that position. All right. So there we go. So now one of the cool things that we can do, um, and here I'll go ahead and press and hold that force trim interrupted. So force trim is interrupted now, and I can hover the aircraft just fine here. Um, I can also do my pedal turns this way. Uh, again, like I said, I don't recommend just because you lose the benefits of the SAS. It is a little bit more difficult to control. And if you got heavy springs like I do, it gets very taxing, um, you know, uh, on the forearm as well. So there we go. All right, so now I'm going to transition to takeoff, transition symbology, press and hold that force trim, get the aircraft accelerating a little bit more power here, forward cyclic, pedal, keeping that nose to tail trim until I get above 50 feet, a little bit more power, a little bit more aft cyclic, ah, there we go, a little bit more right pedal, right pedal, there we go, 500 per minute rate of climb, still accelerating, a little bit of left pedal now, get the aircraft in aerodynamic trim, once I get the aircraft flown to my desired trim state, I'm going to release the force trim. Since I'm central position trimmer, and I confirm this time I'm central position trimmer, I then allow my stick to recenter, and I go back to my normal method of, you know, a little bit of forward cyclic trim. All right. Just keep the aircraft accelerating and climbing. Now, if I need to start making major maneuvers and stuff like that, I can actually do what I do in the actual aircraft, which is pretty cool, which is press and hold the force trim and fly the aircraft. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate that. So I want to go down into the left. So I'm going to go force trim interrupt, bank the aircraft, pedal for aerodynamic trim, and then bring the aircraft around. All right. So I'm force trim interrupted. Um, this is the way. This is how you should be doing this. All right. Um, the aircraft is stable enough now where we can do that. So 
There we go. A little bit of aft cyclic now. I'm going to place the aircraft in aerodynamic trim. Velocity vector straight up and down that 12 o'clock probe. Uh, right about there. And then I'm going to release the force trim, recenter my stick because center position. And that's it. We're, we're down low doing our thing. All right. Trim. There we go. All right, so then, again, if I need to make a major maneuver, interrupt the force trim. Since I'm down low, I'm going to aft cyclic. A little bit of full right cyclic now, because I'm turning to the right. Oh, need to take out some of that pedal. Maintain that aerodynamic trim. Bring the aircraft around. And there we go. Or nose to tail trim, I'm sorry. Not the aerodynamic. All right. And then I'm still force trim interrupted, just, you know, doing my thing. Maneuvering and flying the aircraft. All right. So this is the way. Coming on around. I'm going to climb up in altitude just a little bit here. All right, so there we go. That's the one major change. Prior to this, in my last trim video, um, I was not interrupting the force trim when maneuvering because it just made the aircraft a little too unstable. Now you can, and you absolutely should. So I'm going to place the aircraft back in aerodynamic trim, continue my climb. All right. And still force trim interrupted now that I've got the aircraft more or less where I want it in aerodynamic trim, level 90 knots, uh, or 90 knot attitude with uh, that slight climb in, that's fine. Now I'll release force trim, recenter my stick, and continue the climb. Okay, a little bit of left cyclic trim. So now that I've got everything kind of, I've done the major muscle movements, so basically this is reinforcing. If I'm making a major muscle movement, or a major flight control input, I should say, then I'm going to press and hold the force trim interrupted until I'm done with that movement, and then I go back to making small incremental um, adjustments. So a little bit of left cyclic trim, a little bit of left pedal, and trim. Okay, so that's I go back to that. Now, hold modes. We've flown the aircraft to a trimmed position by holding that force trim interrupted during our maneuvers and all that kind of fun stuff, right? And now what I want to do is I want to bring those hold modes on. So I'm going to just kind of re-trim just a little bit, a little bit of right cyclic, right pedal, trim. There we go. Now I'm going to enable the attitude hold. Now, I've enabled the attitude hold, and because I am level, I'm not in a bank or anything like that, I'm not pressing and holding the force trim, um, it is actually active meaning it's doing its job. So enabled means it's on, active means it's doing its job, right? So it's active. I can see I've got the blue box up there and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, if I take and exceed the breakout values, um, say if I put in just a little bit of left cyclic, it's going to deactivate the hold mode, which means it's not going to be doing its job. Uh, once you return back to um, the, the stick position, back to the reference, then it will reactivate and it'll be doing its job, right? So same thing if I press and hold the force trim. If I press and hold the force trim, I'm going to deactivate the hold mode. The hold mode is still enabled, meaning it's on, but it's not actually doing any work because I'm commanding the SAS sleeve, the SAS servo, to center right now. Like, so it, it can't do any work because I'm telling it to do something else. All right. So now if I get the aircraft back in that nice trimmed state, something like this, then I can go boom, release the force trim, recenter my stick, bam, the uh, hold mode is now active, it's doing work, and it's trying to maintain my 90-knot uh, pitch attitude. And that's the other th really important thing. When I'm in attitude hold sub-mode of the attitude hold, uh, it is holding a pitch, it is holding an attitude, it is not holding an airspeed, okay? You have to manage the airspeed with the collective and the pitch and stuff like that. So it it's not trying to maintain an airspeed for you, it's just maintaining a pitch attitude. In this case, uh, you know, five degrees below hover or zero degrees um, on the on the water line there, right? So if you look here, we're wings level, zero degrees. Our normal hover attitude is five degrees nose up. Okay, so there you go. Uh, so same thing here. If I want to maneuver the aircraft and I've got the holds on, press and hold the force trim, bank the aircraft in the desired direction, do your maneuvers. All right. This is that whole flying the aircraft to a trimmed state. Um, that's what that statement, you know, more or less means. All right, cool. I've done my little maneuver. Let's get the aircraft back where I want it. So wings level in trim with a level VSI right about there. And release the force trim. Heading hold is now going to activate. It's going to have the full authority that it's supposed to have. And it's going to do work for you. Um, so there you go. 
hopefully this uh, this makes sense. This makes it a little bit more, uh, a little easier to fly the aircraft now as well, I think. And uh, hopefully it'll help you all out. Have a good one.